Well, to some of our servicemen out there who might be watching, this is indeed probably a familiar sight because I'm behind the wheel of an AM General Humvee, also more commonly known as the Hummer H1. This one is particularly special being a Gatorade edition. This H1 is a great example of a very well kept uh, and excellent driving uh, Hummer H1. The H1 is about as far from convention as you can imagine. Uh, just the feel behind the wheel, it's extraordinarily wide. I mean, my passenger, I could barely even high five him over there. Uh, that's because with the way these were built, the entire driveline is very high up in here uh, for a couple reasons. One, it gives you fantastic affordability in getting into like a river or going, you know, approach angles uh, up a hill. But you've also got a diesel engine, a full transfer case and transmission that's mounted high, essentially right here. Uh, which separates the passengers. There's four passengers in here, uh, but makes for a very unique uh, driving experience because really there's nothing else out there like it, nothing at all. But honestly, it's pretty comfortable. You got leather seats in here, got a huge stereo. You have these uh, massive speakers up here with a Panasonic head unit in here and a six disc CD changer. Over my head here, you actually have a drop down screen for a DVD player. A uh, Momo steering wheel right here at your hands. But four-speed automatic transmission, it's got high, low, neutral uh, on the transfer case. Dual tanks for the diesel motor, which by the way, it's a 6.5 liter diesel. They actually replaced this with, with the second generation 6.5, uh, which is known for its efficiency uh, and improved reliability. But it's a cold morning, this thing fired right up for me this morning. But don't get me wrong, this is a truck. This is one of the toughest trucks out there that you can own. This probably is the toughest truck out there you could own. But that's part of the character. And you're not buying this to be luxurious, you're buying this to be tough, you know? There's a reason Arnold Schwarzenegger loves driving these things. But around town, it really doesn't feel much different than anything else. Aside from all the looks you get, this thing really does attract a lot of attention. I don't think this color helps it either, but I think the H1 in general is a pretty uh, well-recognized machine once it's out on the road. From a stop, the diesel accelerates nice and smooth. You can hear the turbos kick in. In complete honesty, the H1's always been one of my favorite all-time cars. There's just nothing else out there like it. The uniqueness of it is so fun. And you know what? They're really not depreciating. They're actually appreciated in the last couple years. The demand has gone up. I mean, they don't make them anymore. Believe it or not, it's pretty easy to drive. The power steering is very, very lightly weighted. Uh, you know, the acceleration isn't bad. I'm not going to say it's stellar, but it's really not bad. And the diesel efficiency definitely adds to it. I couldn't imagine driving this as one of the gas block motors. That had to be a slug. They did make them for a handful of years, but they discontinued them almost as quickly as they brought them out. But everything works. I mean, there's no excuses. It's, it's a Hummer H1. What do you expect? And it's one of the nicest Hummer H1s. So what do you expect? This is what you get. So what's it like on the open road? It's just like this. I mean, I'm comfortably cruising here really no drama. Again, it's an H1. It's a truck. It's a heavy-duty, military-grade truck. It's what it's built to be. It's what it does. Yeah, I'm going about 50 miles an hour. And I know I've got reserve here. If I want to lean into it a little bit, I can. Don't worry, this thing doesn't fly. But it is a rewarding experience to drive, no doubt. And it's tough. It doesn't feel like, you know, it doesn't feel like it's going to hurt you. Everything in this does really feel as I would imagine an H1 felt when new. There's really nothing else I could imagine that would be too different about it.